Hello! So lately, whenever a friend visits or I go visit a friend, I like to bring some baked goods that I made. And I thought, <laughs> what would be cuter than make my own little labels to put on the baggies, you know? Cause like a Ziploc bag, Blech. I also got these like cute bags for Christmas, but now it's not Christmas. So I want to spruce up the bag a little. So instead of it being a bag of cookies, which is fun, okay? Nobody's complaining about a bag of cookies, but it's gonna be a, ah, a bag of cookies, you know? Like that little extra something. So I really want to design a label. So we're basically brains, basically, well we are, we're brainstorming from scratch. So we're starting off with basically no ideas, which means any idea is a good idea. Throw it on that paper, you never know when you'll bounce back to it or whatever. I'm thinking I want it to fit in a circle. I want it to have like some kind of, like a logo. So like I can change out the name of the cookies, but then there's still like that consistent thing on all of the labels. So like if the flavor of the cookie changes, but the label's still similar, but I want like things on the label to reference that cookie. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know. But I was thinking maybe for like a company name. And since we're not professional here, I thought it could be something cheesy like with love, comma, you know? Or like hugs, Rini. You know? So that would be like the consistent thing throughout all the packaging. I also wouldn't mind some like, you know, little green stuff because I really like drawing that. Maybe with some flowers. It could go in a square. It could even go in one of those funny shapes like this. <laughs> where you have like words. We're definitely gonna jump into like Photoshop once I get somewhere because you know, fonts are just beautiful, okay? <laughs> I mean, maybe for the logo, it might be a little bit more of my handwriting, but if we're writing like chocolate chip cookies, I want that to be in like a beautiful, consistent font. <sighs> he literally only, he literally only plays with that thing if I turn on the camera. So I apologize, but I also, like I don't want to stop him because it looks like he's having fun. So I feel like if we're going with this sort of uh, casual logo -y vibe, the flowers do suit it. And I think the circle might be better. Unless I do like flowers in this shape. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's kind of cute. So then, who? okay, so what's the most important part here? So with like design, usually they say you want like, within the split second, you want to know what you're seeing, right? You want it to be like readable immediately. So like whatever the most important thing you're trying to tell someone should be the most obvious thing about your design. I don't know if my name is the most important part. Maybe it is. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try and talk it between the toy sounds. Since it is homemade, I feel like maybe my name is important because it's like, you know, signing it, you know, like at the bottom of the letter, you're like, which is how I usually sign things. So that's kind of why I was going with that. Cause it's like sending a little gift, you know? And then it's like with love and hugs. So maybe that is important. So we'll make that big. I don't know. So I guess that should be my handwriting if it's me literally signing the cookie. And then that, I probably would want this maybe to fit into here and maybe even come out of the top there. So we'll like squish that up. And then here we would write like chocolate chip. Actually, I don't think we need to write cookie. I think that might be obvious, just chocolate chip. We could even write cookies here, there's room. So that would be, what am I doing with my hands? I had a little caffeine today. I don't think I'm supposed to, but <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not. Okay, what am I trying to write? So like this would be like the consistent label throughout everything. And then we have this, but I also, I wouldn't mind including like a drawing of me on it. Like I don't know, is that too? So like if we have a label, There'd be like a little me. I could be like holding a tray and then each label could have a giant version of that cookie on it. So we got chocolate chip, we're gonna have a bunch of these guys. <laughs> and then there'd be like me, you know, going like, ah, enjoy your cookies. Ooh, should I be wearing oven mitts? That's cute. <laughs> then you don't have to draw hands. <laughs> See, now if I do this, this could look really cool as a line art as well without color. Oh my gosh, this is useless. I have this clothespin. It's up on the camera. Sorry. <laughs> Let me do that. And it's heavy. Perfect. Sorry. I got distracted. But yeah, this was supposed to be me. Let me... Let's make that a little bit more of a smile. Oh, that looks a little creepy. Okay, we got a little body in there. I probably don't need to draw anything underneath this. We'll keep this all in like a circle. There's still room for a little like floop de bloop de if I want it. But we need room for the label as well. So I don't know if that would go like off the edge here. Put in a little square. Again, with this one, there's more art involved, but what's the most important part of the design? Is it the cookie? 
because that's what I'm seeing first. <laughs> Probably give myself an apron. I need to be the cat person that wears aprons. I always want like a towel in my hand and I'm always losing it and then getting another one. But if I had an apron with a pocket, I could always keep that in there and then I wouldn't have to worry about that. Might be a good investment. <laughs> Don't like the smile anymore. I'm more of a this kind of smile anyway. <laughs> But then I probably would open the eyes. And then I can lower my nose, because my nose is that way up there. It's way down here. Why do they add these under eye circles? They're accurate, but I don't want them in my art. Oh my gosh, get rid of those. I know, like, baking with your hair down is like a big ooh, but, you know. <laughs> as long as you pick them out when you see them, <laughs> you're fine. Blush. So that's an idea. Oh, we need to write stuff. Do I still write? Maybe make this even bigger and put it like right here. I don't know, now they're competing. Like they'd all be three exact same size. So if I'm gonna do the art big, maybe the words need to be smaller. I mean, they are kind of small comparatively, but maybe they need to be even smaller. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why we're trying to figure it out. Part of the process here. So I do like this size of circle for the label. I don't know if we'll go outside the circle unless I want to do like little bloop de blues. But then where do we put the words? I mean, I guess they're gonna go over the hair, fit into this shape. We kind of want to keep it within this circle as much as possible. Obviously, I enjoy a little overlap, but we, you know, we gotta we gotta keep it professional. We can't be going everywhere, you know. We can't be like way over there. Paper just simply ain't big enough. Let me open one of these eyes just to make me look a little more friendly. Maybe open both of them. <laughs> It's all right, we'll leave it for now. There, we got my little person. I suppose we could do a separate circle and then, so cut out these florally stuff on these and do a little separate florally circle here, you know, and then within that. But then, yeah, that, see, look, we have like three equal size elements. I don't like that. One needs to be bigger. I mean, we could go rectangle. Now this label automatically gets a lot bigger. But we have room for a lot of words. Although I don't have that many words to put on here, so that's an issue as well in its own. But but it also kind of separates stuff. You can do a big old signature here. And then write chocolate chip cookies here. Ooh, what if we come outside this edge? This could be like filled in with some kind of color. Chocolate. I don't have all this space. What do we do with that? We could take this idea. Then there's a lot dead space here. This is where if I was like in Photoshop, I could kind of grab it, move it around, see if it looks better anywhere. I'm thinking. Why don't we just try something a bit different? I haven't actually played around with the circle idea, so let's do the circle. Ooh, since this is signing it, why don't we put it at the bottom? And then we could put what's actually in the bag on the top. Cause like, oh, I'm signing off now. Bye. You know, like that. I could even leave this white and then I could write it in and then I wouldn't have to make multiple labels. I could print off a bunch of blank ones, which means I want like the rest to be really fun. But th the thing is I would really love for like e to design a label for each kind of cookie too. So. so I could maybe incorporate ingredients, not the actual picture of the thing. So like this would have like little chocolate chips on it. Oh, look how cute that is. Get right homemade. Is that too cheesy? I mean, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> Homemade, and then it'd be a space. Although if we're doing each design separately, then it doesn't need to be the space. I can literally put that information on there because it's gonna incorporate with the... This is like fine. I just like, I feel like a smarter person would find this pleasantly acceptable, but I just, I feel like I want more. Ooh, okay. Idea loading here. No florals below the label, only flavor of cookies. Huh? But then above here, we can include my favorite flowers. Of course, like green stuff. It kind of, I think it's too separate. In that case, it kind of needs all the florally stuff. But then it's weird to like mix florals and food and all that. Logistically, it makes sense putting the logo at the bottom because it's a signature. But I feel like legibly, I like the name of what's inside at the bottom. Cause that's just kind of how we do it around here. If you look at like any kind of label at the store, you know? I don't know, why does my brain think that's weird? Okay, I think I know why it is. Okay, because I'm making this so big, it's the first thing you see. And then as humans, we usually read and go down and there's nothing down there. So there's like that split second where you're like, what? And then you go up to the top. I think that's the little thing that I don't like about it. If I'm gonna put the signature at the bottom, I gotta make this part bigger so that that's the first part you see. Which
which you can use color to do that. Like if you use like a bright color and everything else is desaturated or something, it'll make your eye see this first. But in black and white, clearly this is what you see first, which means it makes sense for it to be at the top. Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> That's what my brain's saying. So yeah, let's go with our logo at the top. Logo goes at the top. Logo on top. Do I even want it to be that? I haven't actually put a lot of thought in it. These were like my two ideas. I do really like the idea of these flowers, but when I throw like chocolate chips on there, it's odd. So maybe I should go with the idea where you can interchangeably write what you want on the label. In which case I really do like this one, but I would change out the flowers. Um, Do I want it to be a circle though? I also just this entire time have pictured me on it. <laughs> I just really like drawing characters, so it makes sense. I could make up a character for each kind of cookie, but that also doesn't sound that entertaining to me. Like, what are the odds where I like come up with a new idea for a cookie and then I'm like, oh, I gotta draw a new label. Ah! Like, I don't want it to be like that difficult. So that's probably not the best idea. I'm gonna try another this kind of idea. Maybe something smaller. Oh, I could put a dog here. Look, I'm drawing you. That's cute. I do like that better now that I added the dog. I mean, I think something like this is gonna get a lot more eyes than this, like this. They'll be like, oh, it's cute you put a label on it. And then the list will be like, did you draw yourself? You know, that kind of vibe, which is a more fun reaction. If we're doing this for the reaction, <laughs> which is not necessarily the truth. <laughs> I kind of just really wanted two labels. <laughs> I've been watching like canning videos and stuff and like some of these people like they don't label anything They just leave it in the clear jar and they're like this is this and this is this even though they look completely the same And I'm like how could you possibly remember that that's spaghetti sauce and that's chili like they look exactly the same I'm like if I was doing that I'd be making labels that would be so fun I mean let alone just like using a sharpie or something but I'm like I would want to make labels and then I was like oh, I should make labels for my cookies so that's how we got here so this is purely selfish I just really appreciate the work ethic of people that like grow their own food and then do food preservation. I've had a lot of like downtime, resting, and like just like really appreciate the hard work these people put in. And it makes me want to be a harder working person. <laughs> it's inspiring. I guess that's the word. Okay. Oh, I was gonna try and draw like a different version. I was thinking more chibi. I also don't mind like this stylized profile version. We could do just little heads. That's trendy, right? <laughs> if we have like a label for me, for my beanie, for my balls, and then doggy head down here. It looks like a slice of pizza, but that's fine. Don't look happy enough. I'm giving you a present. I should be over the moon. I recently learned the gift giving is one of my major life. They love languages. I was like, why are you bringing people cookies? And I'm like, I don't know. You never show up anywhere without something in your hand. And I'm like, I was not aware of this, but it's true. So I'll tell you this design is not really vibing with me so much, but we will finish it because it might inspire new ideas. Because if you do something completely different, you never really know what you'll do to try and fix it. Which you might want to use in one of your favorite designs. You might mesh them together, you know? So with this, we've got two equal sized heads, which means we need to do something probably decently big for the words. Because I would think the words are more important. So we'll make this real huge. Ugh, I don't like it so skinny, but this will be nice and thick and chunky, okay? Just gotta bear with me because a pencil is not thick and chunky. I mean, they do make thicker, chunkier pencils, but even the thickiest, chunkiest pencil is not gonna fit what I want here. So I want this like thick. Chocolate chip. It looks like an afterthought. It's making me like this one a lot more. I'll tell you that much. All right, here's an idea. So I keep leaving space for this, right? The name of what I want. What if I leave a little space for that imagery I want? like? the chocolate chip. So if I make that an important part of the design. So if we start, start with a square, why not? And let's say we want the top half to have our visual representation of the item. Oh, that'll be the chocolate chip. Let's do my banana bread bites, actually. That's one of my favorites. Then we can have a banana and a chocolate chip. <laughs> so that'll fit into that shape here. And we can maybe even do my flowers. We will see. So then under that, we would probably write banana bread bite. How do you spell banana? And that'll like form the circle like this. So we could probably get rid of the actual circle. And then that room leaves room for my logo in this space. I want these words bigger. I like the idea of it curved, but I think I'd like it better. I'm not gonna erase that and do it because I kind of want to see them next to each other. Give her chocolate chips. And then I want to try it like this. Banana bread. Have a little 
thingy so that it's more obvious. I don't want the flowers to get too close to our little uh, images here. I want them to really stand out in their own way. So I'm thinking just a blank line and like end the flowers at this corner. Okay, so that was the other idea. Well, now that I have this coming outwards, this should close in more. Or actually, I don't need it at all. Maybe just make it cuter. It's looking a little tombstone-y, but I think that's just what labels look like sometimes. And if you think about it, a tombstone is just a label for your body. That makes sense. I'm gonna put some pink flowers in here. I think I want them to be pink and white. And then we'll have green, which I want that, um, my new favorite green color, which was called deep cream. It's actually a yellow. It's the Ohu, but it's like, ooh, such a pretty green. I just want some white flowers in there, but I can't really draw in white, so. <laughs> Making do. I could use my white Posca. Add a couple fun blobs to it. It's just a thumbnail, so it's not that important. But that's a fun color scheme. The pinks, the whites, and the greens. I like that a lot. Which I could, since I have the colors, just print line art and color it myself. And then I don't have to worry about my dumb printer. Wow. That's assuming that my printer can print a straight line, which is not often. But we will hope and dream and pray. So we got this going. What else do I need? Oh, we gotta put the my logo. Let's at least put in my name. Hama. Oh, my name keeps getting bigger and bigger. Ugh, see, that's why I didn't do it like this. This is gonna have to wait till I get into the computer. But I'm gonna like trace around that shape. Although I don't want it to be bubble letters. That's just unprofessional. <laughs> It'll be better than that. I also don't like where I took that R. Should have curled it up. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> well, a little bit of a curl, maybe. That's better. Do we want the flowers to continue? There's definitely space here. I don't think I want this harsh edge. That looks kind of dumb. I also want to play around with the placement of the logo and I want that squashed together a little nicer. It looks a little cut and paste and I don't like that, but we might want the flowers. Do a big flower here, nice. And then just leave a little gap for those. Eh? Flowers feel a little out of place, but they're gonna be in all of them. So like branding wise, it'll be consistent. Don't like the gradient or the bubble letters at all. I think it's gross. I probably would have liked it 10 years ago, but time has passed and I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> Let's do another version here. I think I do like the straight across. Also doing curvy letters is always just a pain in the butt. Whereas straight across, it's like, oh, done, simple. Actually, you know what I need is a little space to write maybe the ingredients. Ooh, that does make it look way more like a label. I can even write three cookies or something like that. Ooh, I like that too. I even like it being separate. Like this is all contained and then there's just a little space with some words. It'll just be at the bottom. Ha ha ha, I like it. Okay, something about that made me very happy. But this one, let's try. Do I have something thicker I can write with? Let's try this guy. Okay, that definitely doesn't work. I think the R needs to be farther over, so let's try that. I think having it slightly tilted makes it look more like handwriting, which is nice. So now this I is kind of lining up with the comma. So now that I <laughs> you move it over a little bit more. Not like here. All right, that's a decent lineup. But that's more what I want it to look like. And I'll probably all this pink stuff will be black. So it'll just be black liner. Yeah, let's focus on that design. I like this because like there's very easily accessible areas of change. Why not? Since we're trying to make these different just for brainstorming purposes, put this stuff here. So any verbiage. I also probably should write that they're gluten-free because everything I make is gluten-free, but that usually doesn't matter to people. <laughs> and if it does, they know that everything I make is gluten-free, so it's like, whatever. <laughs> but, but that's where I would write that, I guess. Wait a minute. I just did exactly what I said I didn't want to do, which was put this at the bottom. <laughs> didn't I have a whole like tangent about this? But this time we also have the picture up at the top, which I think is a pretty good visualization. And when we go back to something like this, it'll be more subtle than this big bubble letters, which I think you'll see that first. The other option is just do the exact same design, but reverse it. Let's do it with this. Then we probably put a shape here. Uh, right, banana bread bites in this shape. Oh, then we need the little thingy. I really should look up a picture of a banana. I'm just going off memory. Okay, I don't like that, but I think it's the sizing, not necessarily the order. Because I did not follow the same vibe. Also, we can make this way bigger. I also want to try it with maybe the circle in the middle. 
And this circle will just be a line, just so it's not too distracting. Okay, that already looks better. I wanna try it with the bananas in the middle though. But this time I'm not gonna do something I can't erase. Let's try and make it a little smaller. You know what I didn't do this time was draw a nice rectangle for it to fit into. I think that was part of the problem. So we're gonna put this here. Okay, then this is where we want this. Oh wait, no, 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 no! We want this. But maybe we want that to be pretty big then. Maybe an oval. And then we want the name of it. So maybe we want the name to be smaller. We're gonna have to adjust some things. And we have a circle. Well, the circle could probably be overlapped a little more by the logo. And then we'll have banana red. I'm getting sick of writing this. That's why I like using the computer. But maybe make this more of an oval so this shows a little bit more. The thing is, this isn't gonna be the cutest little thing of art. And now I'm making it like the focal point, literally the center of attention. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm also gonna try and do the banana the other direction big circle and go back to flowers here and we had flowers i just want to add some color though maybe use a little line art let's just see how this looks okay is that looking like a nice little label 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 i think i want something smaller for this stuff might not want it to be that harsh, but also the colors would probably be a little different. Yeah, I'm trying to give this a fair shot, but I don't think I like it in the center. Just because it's so simple, like it just seems like a tiny little add-on. I really like it at the top. I think this just makes it too much of a focal point. I'd rather the words be more of a focal point, to be honest, and those to just be a little like, the ingredients. Because it's not what's actually in it. Like you're not getting a bag of a banana and chocolate chips, right? You're getting the cookie. I did the best I could with that, and I've decided it's a no, so X that out. These two are the winners, obviously, without this. I kind of want to tell you my secret ingredient in my banana bread bites. Not that you're asking, but it's applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What? Hmm. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? I kind of just want to go with this one. I like the stuff at the bottom being separate from my little flower tombstone here. Also, I should try it. I could do love and hooks. <gasps> oh, uh? kind of like that. Then it doesn't quite fit. Mm, no, that's not gonna work. It kind of has to fit into a shape. Over here, I kind of just wanted color to this because I really like those colors. <laughs> no other reason. I've already decided I don't like this design that much. Yes, that's what it needed. So yeah, we're gonna go with this design, this logo-ish, you know, approximately. I really like this color scheme. If you're wondering, we're using uh, light pink, deep cream, and then I layered the light pink with a little bit of pastel peach, just to tone it down. I like the idea of this half circle where it comes down into the square. That only works if I do the curved letters. Let's just finish off that guy though. Yeah, because I don't really want to put away my markers yet. Oh, wait, if it's signing off, right? I put it over in like the side, like off to the side, like you would sign a letter. Then you'd have all your flowers here. I haven't decided, like this could obviously come down. This could be used interchangeably, but we'd have all our flowers and stuff. And that would go down at the bottom. Oh, I kind of like that a lot. It seems like a pretty good idea. I forgot how vibrant that pink was. Put some of this throughout. Okay, I really like that one. But I think I'll go with this, but this logo. I like this. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. Ooh, do I want to incorporate gold into this in any way? Well, you're only going to see that if the shines show up. But it could be cute. I really like this gel pen. It's a Signo 0.8. All right, I think next is to jump into the computer then. So let's see if we can make these look a little bit more polished. All right. So here's the photo I took earlier. So we have references of everything. And look, that's my hand. Also full disclosure, it's the next day, but not that that matters. Looking at it now, I really like this circle-y one, but I think if I remember correctly, we are going to do this whole thing, put the logo in the corner, put like this, and there'll be the words down here. What I think I'll do first, Grab this guy. Let's duplicate this. Grab her in a new file. This is a letter size, so it's eight and a half by 11. I feel like this is how big the labels would be, but since we're gonna be printing them, I wanna make them bigger and then shrink them down to this size. It'll just make it all look cleaner. All the lines will look so much crisper. So we'll make it an eight and a half by 11 size label. But then we'll obviously print it at like, I don't know, this size. <laughs> like a business card size, probably. You can also like, level this out. 
Since I'm really excited about the font, why don't we just try and find a font here? Shrink you down. Banana. Is that even how you spell banana? It is. Why does that look so odd? I'll take it. I'll take it. Banana bread. But it's... I gotta find a pretty font. That's not really a pretty font. That's a legible font, but it's not a pretty font. We could do something that looks like handwriting, but I think I want something a little classier than that. Hmm, so many to choose from, but they all kind of look the same. I mean, I'd probably use the serif on the blockier text. So up here, let's do sans serif. Well, it's a placeholder for now. Wait a minute. This really only works if I put... Oh, wait a minute. I can only... Like, look, if, I, if there's nothing here, this is just gonna be smaller. I guess it would go, like, right here-ish. Now there's all this space of nothing. Like, obviously, we would put some of these flowers like that. But you see how that's kind of lame? I like it better, though. I will say that much. I mean, I suppose, which it could do. We could just take this stuff and close it off there. This doesn't seem like it's improving the design. Although that's not too bad. There's still a big base here. I mean, you could do bigger flower. Because now when we're putting it down there, it's just getting too small. I didn't think I'd have to do this much thinking today. I thought all the thinking was done. Let's go with this centered. Then we won't have a gap on just one side. And if I want to, I suppose I could put it slightly more to one side, if need be. Also coming back to here, not so crazy about the font anymore. I don't have like anything schmancy. That looks exactly the same. <laughs> anyway, let's try and just do some line art for now while I consider and ponder that situation. So I'll probably use black for now. Something a little smaller than that. It's a good size. I'm also gonna look up a picture of a banana. Ooh, do I want it peeling? That could be cuter. It also takes up more space, like horizontally, which it needed. It's a bit of a squiggly banana. <laughs> Should I make the banana like kind of old and mushy because that's the kind of bananas you would normally use? <laughs> we need the chocolate chips. Maybe a big one right here. He looks like a peep. So it's like he's like a chocolate chunk. That might be easier to read. I think that would make more sense. Ah, I'm changing everything. I want to keep these little guys. So I might use them as well. So we'll just put them over there. But let's draw like a chocolate bar. You know, the ones with like the squares and everything. See, this is detailed stuff is kind of what I'm having trouble with, with my like my shaky and my ugh. This is actually not quite as fun as I would like it to be. It's more of a battle. Ugh. We will try our best. I thought maybe I could do a bunch of different flavors today, but maybe we'll have to just settle with what we can do, which might just be the banana bread bites today. We should give it a wrapper. I kind of want the banana to be a little straighter now. Oh wait, if we do this, this kind of looks nice. And I could maybe take my little chocolate chips. See if they fit anywhere. Hey, okay, I kind of like that. Now there's just a little bit more going on. Let's go ahead and shrink everything a little. Put it right in here, right in the center. Now I just have to do line art. Let's lower the opacity of that guy and then come in here. And we can draw in our chocolate. Ah, so shake, so shake. Ah! Oh my gosh. Maybe just quick motions would be better. I wonder if I didn't fill them all in if they look more three-dimensional. I mean, it's art. We're not trying to make something real here, but I also want it to look good. <laughs> hey yo, Chocolate and banana! So that's that part. Now the banana has a thicker line art on it, so I might have to go around this. Just thicken this up a little. Still wondering if I want the banana peeled. <laughs> but for now, we'll put this in a little thingy. Call it flavor. And we'll go out here. And for this, I want to use like a circle, an ellipse. Seize. Now we have a perfect circle all the way around. And I'm gonna leave it there and actually use a layer mask in case we need any more of it. That way it's still there, but it'll be erased. Eh? Okay, we've got a cute little circle. So next is adding in the little flowers and stuff. And there's not much to see here. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna have to kind of make it up. Kind of make sure they're fun and cutesy. Not too serious. What would a carnation look like in a doodly form? Kind of like that. Mm -hmm. How's that look? Let's turn this guy off. That's pretty. It's definitely daintier than this, but I suppose I could go over that and do the liner again if I had to. Because I do like the daintier look. Let's continue our way around. Try another carnation-y thing. Hey. Oh, they're getting a little smaller. I see they're bigger up there, so we need to make them bigger. Ooh, well I want to copy paste it so they're exact. I suppose I could and then like remove some of the more obviously looking ones so that they're different. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. This is kind of where it's ending. Alright, alright. 
Ooh, okay, this word needs to move up. I'm gonna take this. I'll definitely reverse it. Hey, yo, beautiful. I don't think you can even really tell that it's flipped because there's just so much going on. It works really well. I can just add a couple in here. Maybe to change it up a little. Although I kind of want to add them here too. <laughs> now they're a little different. What's next? Let's try just signing it with a thick pen. See how I like it. And then we just need to go back in here and make that line art a 20. And we can just come along here. Is that enough or do I need to go further? This R I'm actually not thrilled with. <laughs> just, just move it right there. That's better. Yeah, see, now we're getting somewhere. I think this does need to carry over a little further. Carnation. Hey, yo! This feels like it's hugging the words a little too much, which is kind of funny. It's actually, what the words are. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So it's still slanted, but not as extreme. Not as if taking up more space. So I could probably make it a little smaller. And that leaves me space to add flowers on this side kind of fill that in. Also, I'm gonna draw a little line here so we know where that goes. And we just have to kind of follow along that. We can get rid of that line. And there we have it. So this is what it would look like in black and white. I mean, I'd probably add some gray. Then we also need to put whatever I was gonna put at the bottom of this, like a normal sized font. I don't know, ingredients. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going off my head. Eggs, butter. There we go. There's your ingredients. Let's make sure that lines up the way we want it to. Sometimes I put walnuts, so I'll write that. Sometimes walnuts. I'm gonna look at a package of cookies and see what they write on cookies. It looks like they like to put these on double lines, but I think I kind of made that difficult for me. <laughs> I like it better on two lines. And this will obviously need to shrink. Yeah, I'll go back. I like this. This just makes it more fun to me. <laughs> just having a little block of text makes it look so much more like a label. I think this does need to be uppercase. Yeah, okay. Am I thinking too much about some of this? <laughs> Maybe. The only thing is this font is not fun to me. You could just try them all. Gross, gross. Get out of here. That's not terrible. I feel like it goes well with the dainty flowers, especially if I maybe thicken it up just a little. Josephine Sands. What does she look like? Oh, she's even cute when I... Okay, I like that. That's cute. I like that font a lot. Should I use it down there too? That way they're just the same, you know? Okay, I'm much happier with the font now. Let's go ahead and add the color. This is gonna take a while because there's a lot of little tiny spaces to fill. There's really no easy way to do this. We're just gonna start coloring. Try to do them on separate layers in case I don't like the color. I can change all the pink at once. Let's try her. Ooh, yes. But I want all the carnations to be pink. Let's do like a yellow. I guess that's brown. <laughs> to fill in these little spots. A nice touch. I have a white, but for the sake of seeing it, we will make it yellow. This nasty yellow, but I don't forget about it. But this is all the stuff that we want to be white. Just going around, coloring this in. All right, then lastly, we need a nice green and a little darker so it pops out from the whites and the pink. Now this is the bottom layer, so if we decide any of these random little things need to be a different color, it'll be really easy to just color on top of it on the layer that's already exists. Let's just fill in this stuff for now. We can always add like another layer of other things. All right, so let's go ahead and change that yellow, finally. White. Oh, that looks so much better already. <laughs> Dude, what do we want to play with the liner? I mean, if we're going color, ooh, what about this? What about magenta? Also, I just realized I could have colored them and then flipped them. Mm. <laughs> I might though grab the green and kind of play around with that color. That might do her. Brown is also not as visible as it needs to be. So we might just color that in magenta. I don't really want to add any shading or anything just because it is kind of detailed as it is. So I'd probably leave it. So now I just have to do the color on the other side and then I'll meet you back when it's time to do the banana. All right, so next up, we got to color in our banana. I want to keep it in a similar color scheme here. So I'm thinking for the banana, we'll use our white. And we'll just go slightly pinker and darker for our stem. Let's just color that in, we can change it after. Although it fits into the color scheme, I changed your mind, we're keeping it. Now chocolate, we're gonna take something similar to this, which is less saturated, but should hopefully stay into the color scheme and everything. Also, I need to change the line art to purple, then we'll know it's working. 
if it looks good with that. <laughs> You're purple now. And then for the kidnapper, I should probably use some colors that are already here. We've got is pink, really. So let's start there. It's actually cute. It's pink chocolate. Make this part shiny. I feel like the chocolate needs to be a little shinier, to be fair. I feel like it's when I print this really small, that's not gonna be beneficial as it is when I'm zoomed in here. Also, I'm wondering, should I put some big age spots on this banana? <laughs> Again, it's making it too busy. We need to keep it simpler. I think the chocolate is honestly too dark. It's gonna blend in with the liner. What's wrong with that? With our uh, color balance tone. Actually, the hue saturation, because I think I just want it to be a little lighter. So the liner pops. Beautiful. Before it's more chocolatey, but this, I feel like fits into the color scheme a little better. Now does that look like a little label? Oh, this is cute! Honestly, we gotta add a little bit of the Rini flare here though. Boop, boop. Maybe some hearts. Oh, also, this should probably be pink. The only thing I'm thinking about changing is, do you want this darker? And I can grab that color. Might as well add it up here to the chocolate. I wonder if we need a little, a little extra something here. Is that weird? I feel like that's cute, but it's also trying a lot of attention. Maybe the off-white? That's the color of the banana, though. So I just pull it down a little. Ooh! Since there's no black in this, I probably should change the color of this. Either the magenta, which that works, because that's really dark. Use it up. And then if I ever come up with anything else I need to add down there, I can always just elongate it. Anything left to do here? Does it need like a little tiny line here? I feel like it just kind of busies it up, but I also, well, maybe it's smaller. Well, let me know what you think. I really can't, it doesn't need it, but it also kind of helps bring out the word banana bread bite. <laughs> but I think we'll leave it here. I'm quite happy with the progress. I think we definitely cleaned it up, made it beautiful. I'll print some out, test it out, and I'll probably just show you a little clip here once that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me as I designed a little logos for all of my cookies and I don't know, any potential makes. These could definitely be interchanged. I just have to change out what it says and draw a little doodle for the logo bit. <laughs> anyway, I had fun. I hope you did too. And I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.